If you go to Google and you tippy tap type in the fourth dimension, what you will always get back is an image that looks like this. Apparent 4D objects, hypercubes, tesseracts, this thingy. But if you're like me, you've seen these images for years, you've tried to understand them, but you've always had a problem with them. If this is truly four dimensional, why is it uh, three dimensional? How can I even see it? Well, the answer is that you're not actually looking at the fourth dimension. What we have here today is a failure of science communication that I intend to rectify. No, no fun visualization on YouTube or anywhere else has ever shown you what the fourth dimension actually looks like. This is just a shadow of all that weirdness. Literally. Now entering the facility. Let's begin with the basics, just like brother Carl Sagan did all those years ago. Let's begin with a dot. This dot exists in zero dimensions. It has no degrees of freedom. But if we take this dot and move it along a new axis, it suddenly exists in one dimension. We can do the same thing for this line. We can move it along a new axis, connect its journey, and suddenly we are in two dimensions we have a square. We can do this again to move it up a dimension to push back this square in an implied Z direction or depth, connect its journey and it's a cube in three dimensions. Now there's nothing stopping us, at least mathematically, from taking this three dimensional representation and doing the same again, connecting what it did and suddenly we're in four dimensions. But here's the problem, this is cheating. Like you're not actually seeing a 3D Kai guy right now. Don't you wish you were though? You can't actually see the fourth dimension in three dimensions. Oh, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> you can't. When you see visualizations of shapes in the fourth dimension like this, Many imply that these shapes are in fact four dimensional, and they're just adjusted to be sensible in two dimensions, like three dimensional cubes are, but they're not. We can represent a cube in two dimensions because our brains are evolved to infer depth from distance, lighting, and edge cues that can be simulated on screens like this one. But the fourth dimension isn't just another spatial axis squished down onto your screen, like the z-axis is for 3D cubes. No, you literally cannot point at the fourth axis, usually called the w-axis, of a hypercube or tesseract. It's not even conceivable in our world. Go ahead, try to point in a direction that's at 90 degrees to front, back, left, right, up, down, simultaneously. Go ahead. Go ahead, just try to point. Go ahead, I'll wait here. Go ahead, I'll just be right here. At this point, you're probably saying to yourself, Okay then, science boy. If we can't see the fourth dimension, then what are all these cool animations showing? Well again here, Aria, we have a case of misrepresentation. This is not a weird shape-shifting extra-dimensional object. No, this is just another trick to help visualize the unvisualizable. I know this animation looks trippy and weird and Reddit likes to share it all the time like, oh, did you see what Joe Rogan said? But it is not the fourth dimension. It is pretty mind blowing though when you realize what is actually going on here. Look at this 3D cube. You know it's not changing shape, but if you stop the spin and look at it from a certain perspective, it can appear like parts of the cube have changed shape, right? If you look at the cube right here, you can't actually tell if it has more dimensions to it, right? Okay, now get ready for this, bro bros. The same thing is happening right here. This is what it looks like when a four-dimensional tesseract rotates. Nothing about it is changing size or shape. No shapes are indeed shifting. The apparent shape shifting here is only meant to demonstrate that there is a hidden dimensionality at work, like a cube hidden behind a square. Bruh. Confused yet? Don't feel bad. Your brain is literally not evolved to understand an extra dimension that it doesn't exist in. 
The point of all of this is to say that because of poor science communication, you have been given the impression that someone has seen the fourth dimension and knows what it looks like, even though no one ever has. Not even mega math dweebazoids with their little typey type computer things. But we can get closer to understanding what the fourth dimension could be like if we get a little bit more open-minded. Open-minded like Joe Rogan says? No, Arya. He's so open-minded his brain fell out a long time ago. Today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Gamers, I'm award-winning science educator and Thor if you tried to draw him from memory, Kyle Hill. Recently, and this is true, bad actors used my personal information online and have tanked my credit score. They have been dealt with, but needless to say, I am now extremely concerned about my online privacy. That's why I use a serious shark while I'm surfing the web. Surfshark. Surfshark is a premium virtual private network service that encrypts all your information sent between your devices and the internet. You can use Surfshark to bypass censorship, mask your IP address, or change your device's virtual location to access YouTube in Nigeria. Surfshark does not monitor, track, or store what you do online, which means no connection or activity logs. And unlike other premium VPNs, Surfshark now has thousands of servers in over a hundred countries. Be secure on literally the majority of the planet's surface. Secure your privacy like me with Surfshark. Enter coupon code KYLE, that's K-Y-L-E, for an extra four months free at surfshark.deals forward slash Kyle. Hey, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee and unlimited devices on your Surfshark account. Don't be unprotected while you surf. Get the shark underneath your surfboard of the Surfshark. So I've said these animations are not very good at representing the weirdness of Double Double D. So what are good representations? Well, let's start with this one. This is a net of a 3D cube. You've probably seen it before, you've probably even tried to fold one yourself in school. It is a two-dimensional representation that can be folded along its edges to go up a dimension into 3D. This is the unfolded net of a tesseract. Unfolded. It's 3D when it's unfolded. Unfolded? Unfolded. So it makes sense that if we fold this net up like we did for the 2D shape, it will go up a dimension and become 4D, right? Exactly. Eight 3D cubes fold into one 4D hypercube. But see how it looks like things are changing shape again? That's because, like we said, shapes are rotating along an axis in a dimension that we cannot see. And this shape is suppressing all of that weirdness so that we can see something on a flat screen become comfortable with what's lost in this animation, and you get closer to conceptualizing four dimensions. Did that help? Nope. Okay, well, I think there's still one final thing we can do, another visualization to hopefully get to the bottom of all this, or the top of it, or the left, right, middle way, the, it doesn't matter. This illuminating tactic that we're about to use next involves shadows. <laughs> See what I did there? To interrogate the invisible, we're going to use what are called projections, a way to represent a higher dimensional object on a lower dimensional plane. The easiest example of this is just the shadow of my hand here. It's a, it's a doggy. It's a three-dimensional object represented with light on a lower two-dimensional plane. Now, if this object is truly four-dimensional, then it follows that the shadow of this object must be three-dimensional, like you or me. But as you can see, the shadow, it's weird, but it's not three-dimensional. That's because, despite what the internet may say, this is not a tesseract. This is not a hypercube. This object is the shadow of those objects. Think about that for a second. This is the flat representation of a higher dimensional object like this shadow is of my hand. I say flat because if four dimensional beings exist, our three dimensions would appear flat to them. Dude. 
I know, right? And if this object is this cool and it's just a shadow, imagine what the real thing looks like. I mean, I know I've spent like a dozen minutes saying why you can't, but just, just try. Of course, it shouldn't really surprise you that parts of reality can be missing from your perception. You don't actually see in three dimensions in the first place. What you perceive as the outside three-dimensional world is your brain's best interpretation of two flat two-dimensional images that hit the back of your retina. If you could actually see in three dimensions, you'd be able to see all of my dimensions right now. Even the back of my head. And that man bun. Oh, 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 we're bringing it back. Now, if you're not completely confused by this point, you may have stuck around at the end of this video to hear me say something like, don't worry, I know how to show you the fourth dimension and it looks like... <clears throat> I can't do that. It's literally impossible for me to show you the fourth dimension. Like I said, I think this has been a problem of science communication. Despite any images that you see, despite videos that sound like their hosts are reading scripts by gunpoint, no one has ever shown you the fourth dimension. The best we can do is cheat a little bit. At least we do have these cool mathematical representations that can prove to us that there might be more to reality than any of us think. Until next time. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff here at the facility for the direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white four-dimensional lab coat that doesn't even actually touch your body, think about it. Go to patreon.com slash kylehill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough to get your name on Aria in every single video, she loves it. It's kind of her thing. So you can see there's hundreds and hundreds of you. I'm already stalling for time, obviously. So are there more dimensions? Uh, I don't know. They've been posited in mathematical ways. You've probably heard about additional dimensions in like string theory, which can go up to 11 or whatever number they're at now. But everything so far has been mathematical when you talk about extra dimensions. When I said it was so hard to point in a direction that's orthogonal to all of our three spatial dimensions, it's basically impossible. The fourth dimension would have to be some super, super weird, tiny, quantum-y, gravity-leaking-y kind of space. It's not just something you could step into, like you're one of those dwarves from God of War who can step through the Midgar and the... Just making nerdy references to pass the time. Thanks for watching.